My name is Matt Hodson and I'm going to demonstrate how to make raw vegan fruit leather. I've been using a round dehydrator for the past few years and I finally, just yesterday, got an Excalibur dehydrator at a pretty good deal off of Craigslist. But um, I'm going to just use bananas and strawberries for the fruit leather. So the first thing I'm going to do is one banana to two cups of strawberries. So in goes one banana into my blend tech. Just gonna break it in half. And then I'm just gonna get one cup of strawberries. And I'm just gonna leave the greens on because it's a blend tech, it's gonna demolish the greens. So in goes one cup and then another cup of strawberries. So in goes another cup, and I'm not sure if it's going to need water or not. This is my first time making this, so I'm just going to blend it and see what happens. If it needs water, I'll add some to it. So here we go. then yeah I didn't figure it needed any water the water from the strawberries was enough to blend up the banana I'm gonna throw some raw agave nectar in there just a little bit to sweeten it up and that's probably good then I'm going to just pulse it a little bit to get that mixed in there and that's probably good so I'm going to get the dehydrator sheet ready. So here is a dehydrator tray and I got a mesh screen underneath it with a tough flex sheet on top. And just because I've never made this before, I read a little tip on the internet that if you put some coconut oil on there that it'll help the fruit leather come up easier. So I'm just going to take some coconut oil in my hand and I'm going to let it melt for just a few seconds. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'm just going to take my hand and just move it around and try to get the sheet covered with a little layer of coconut oil. Just taking a paper towel and kind of getting the bigger pieces off, but the, uh, the actual oil is still on there. So, alright, the dehydrator screen is nice and oiled now, so I'm going to just pour some of the mixture right in the middle. And then I'm going to take a rubber spatula and just try to even it out. The mixer is evenly distributed on there now, so I'm going to just put that into the dehydrator. And I'm going to make a few more trays worth and then I will get the dehydrator started. So I got three trays with the fruit leather mixture. And I went ahead and made one tray with just bananas since it's my first time using an Excalibur dehydrator. I just want to do a little bit extra here. So I'm going to put the cover on. And then I personally like to dehydrate everything at 105. 118 degrees is the max for raw food, but just to be safe I do 105. So everything's in the dehydrator. The dehydrator is on at 105 degrees. It's about 11 a.m. right now. I'm going to check them in about six hours, see if they're ready to flip over yet. And hopefully it'll be done in 12 hours. If not, then I'll let them go longer. But yeah, so we'll just see what happens. And if you're using a round dehydrator, a lot of times it'll come with one of these, which is a fruit leather tray. Um, you just put it on there and you spread it out right here. The dehydrator is a very important tool in the raw food diet because it allows you to change the texture of food without actually cooking it because as long as you keep it under 118 degrees it keeps the living enzymes alive and it's technically still raw. 
And what's good about Excel rehydrators and other square dehydrators like that is the fan is on the side, so it evenly distributes the air instead of just having the fan on the top where you have to, the stuff on the top gets the most air and the stuff on the bottom doesn't, so you gotta keep rearranging it. But with an Excalibur dehydrator or similar dehydrators, the fan's on the side, so you don't gotta keep moving them around, it evenly distributes it. And you get nine trays, so you can get a lot of food out of, out of one go. So it's pretty uh, <clears throat> economically um, sufficient there. You can get a whole week's worth of raw dehydrated food um, in one go. In 12 or 24 hours, you can have a whole week's worth of snacks or bread or crackers, whatever you need. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to check back in six hours to see if it's ready to flip over. If not, I'll let them go longer, but I will see you then. It's 5 o'clock. It's been about six hours, so I'm going to go ahead and take the door off and see what I got. Oh yeah, check that out. I don't think it's ready to flip yet. So, it's kind of hard around the edges, but it doesn't feel very hard in the middle. So, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it to dehydrate some more. Yeah, same thing with this one. And, ooh, look what happened there. Huh. Alrighty. Well, those are looking okay. I'll probably go ahead and flip these. So, yeah. I'm gonna flip these, I'm gonna let it dehydrate a little bit more. Um, I actually have to go to my mom's. I'm not gonna be back for a few hours, so I'll see how they're doing later tonight, I guess, and then just let them go all night on the other side or whatever, so. I uh, will be back in a few hours. It's about 9 p.m. right now, and the fruit liver has been dehydrating for about 10 hours. So I'm going to go ahead and take the door off and see what we got now. Hmm. So yeah, it's drier now. I think it is okay to flip. It's weird that it's breaking apart. So I'm going to flip this over. And then just peel this off. Oh, that was pretty easy. Flip it. Peel it. Nice. Flip it. Peel it. Very nice. All right, so I'm going to put the door back on, and I'll see what I have in the morning. It's about 6 a.m. right now. The fruit leather's been dehydrating for about 19 hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and see what I got. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say that these are good enough to cut and roll, so I'm going to go ahead and take them out. So there's the fruit leather. I'm just going to take a paper towel and try to get some of the extra oil off of it. Alright, so I'm just going to take the kitchen shears and just kind of cut it. So after the cut in the strips, I'm just going to roll them. And there you go. So there it is, raw vegan fruit leather. You can either roll it up like this or cut it into squares, whatever you want. But uh, yeah, that came out pretty good actually. Um, there's a little bit of coconut oil still on it. So the coconut oil is optional, like I said before. and I'm not sure if I actually needed to use coconut oil on those dehydrator sheets since they're already non-sticky, but just I wanted to just make absolute sure since it was my first time using it. But I can tell you now that those uh, sheets I use are like permanently like super non-sticky now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and and take a bite. 
Mmm. That is good. Those actually came out pretty good. <clears throat> also, I got my dehydrated bananas. I'm going to take those to work with me. And um, I'm probably going to store these in a plastic bag just to keep the air out. So that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.